but they coming to the show. Pulling up, you know I'm swerving. Bad bitch, but you know I'm curving. Every professional was once an amateur, every expert was once a beginner. So dream big and start now. The beauty of aesthetics is that it's a universal language. It doesn't matter what country you're born on, what language you speak, anyone can appreciate aesthetics. So many things that I left unsaid. Pretty much people just live the aesthetic lifestyle. Just have fun, you can train, you can still have a social life, you can still go out, have drinks with your friends, you don't have to be super committed and just put your whole life into it. A lot of people say, like, they ask for, like, my end goal physique. I can't really say that to you guys because the thing is, I don't want to, like, stop lifting. I'm going to be lifting my whole entire life. It's my lifestyle. I love what I'm doing. I couldn't see myself not lifting. It just would feel weird. Enjoy the fucking moment because, you know what, tomorrow we never come, all right? Right now is all we have. The biggest things that helped build my character is when I started wrestling when I was very, very young. My parents were very supportive with that, and they were they were hard also on me. So they would be always pushing me. It was tough, but I feel like it helped mold me into who I am today. It doesn't really matter, you know, what you go through, struggles in your life. It's gonna help shape you as you get older. People hold back, you know what I mean? You fucking when I'm at it, bro. You know, when you hold back, you look fucking yeah. awkward. One of the most important fucking things in life, dude, is like. Just do you, bro. Don't give a fuck what other people think. Just do you. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head. What's good? What's good? I can't move. Alright, what up guys? Every day I always get the exact same question. What the fuck is the secret to aesthetics? Motherfucking green tea. Gonna be in a little leg with that tonight. It's gonna be a good time. It's pretty late though, good night, so I'll see how it is. Might be a little bit busy in there. Check it out guys, see you later. You know what it is? You don't want to be 50 someday. At the end of the day, the most important thing, the most important thing is to do what truly makes you happy, alright? Fuck everyone else's opinions, okay? You need to do you. Enjoy the moment, bro. What, what you're doing now? You know, bro? <laughs> Something to eat? You're about to eat some steak, bro. Yeah. Game, some steak for the games. Let's go, boys. We'll post your meal right here. Now, a lot of people say that since I'm 18, I'm so young, that they say it's impossible to achieve this body naturally, but it's taken seven years. I've been training longer than most men, so age is not a factor. Do not fear failure, because failure is what makes you better, okay? You get knocked down seven times, stand up eight, you never get knocked down again. In order to accomplish anything in life, you gotta be ready for some risk, alright? Share
Alright, boys and girls, got the breakfast champions here. Eggs and oats. Eat this shit every fucking morning. You need to realize that there are going to be low points in life, and that is what's going to make you stronger. This lifestyle terms can consume people. They can change who they were before they start. That means practice everything in moderation. Don't lose focus on the bigger things in life. You don't fucking quit, alright? You never fucking quit. Good Snapchat. Right here, I got 10 eggs. I got seven egg whites, three egg holes. You know, cook it up, make some gains, baby. All right. So when I got from Germany, my fucking gas and turned off. So I'm cooking everything on my grill. Get it with food. Oh, it's good. Every week I switch it up. I never do the same routine. Um, it's always different. I'll do chest Mondays, back and bice Tuesday, Wednesday legs, Thursday chest and shoulders, Friday arms, and Saturday who else we're going like. Saturday usually I'll do chest again just because there's no lacking point. It's not simple. It takes time. I mean, seven years is pretty much like half my life I've seen this body. don't realize how important nutrition is they think it's all about training and lifting weights but if you want to put muscle on you got to eat a lot of food it's very important yeah that's for a better workout partner bro oh, oh shit oh you smell that it's a cinnamon wrap whole burger meal of the gods wait what's coming next So you want to be a bodybuilder? Well, you gotta eat beef. This is our pre-photo shoot meal. Got some eggs, oats, got some blueberries, honey in there. Uh, green tea. Great night for shreds, baby. Yo, we're checking in from the lavatory. for gap check. Alright guys, welcome to the studio. That's where the magic's happening. Got the man of the hour, Roger. Hello Roger. Say hey buddy. Failure is something that makes you stronger. So when you fail, you can look at it two ways. You can either look at it as a negative and dwell on it the rest of your life, or you can look at it as, it, as a way to improve. I realized I can't just dwell on that for the rest of my life, so I picked myself up, I kind of rethought my whole process for what I was going to do for the rest of my life, and I just went on with it. I stumbled upon the fitness industry and all the bodybuilding shows and all that when I was 16. And then from there, just that's when the career really started taking place and then I really found the passion. I became the youngest IFB professional bodybuilder when I was 19 years old. Hanging out with men's physique pro, Jeff Side. And after that, I was on a very high point. I was ready to straight go into Olympia. And I was thinking, like, I'm going to go into Olympia and I'm going to win it and become the youngest Olympian champion ever. 
I traveled across the country again using up all my money to travel around compete in all the competitions, but when you have a dream and a goal in mind, money is not a factor. So luckily, the last competition of the season, I won the pro show and I qualified for Mr. Olympia. That's how fucking pros do it, bro. Push to the very fucking end. Absolute fucking failure. Everything you fucking got. have a goal in mind, it's never going to let you stray off the path. So you always want to have goals, especially in bodybuilding, you always want to have something that you're aiming towards. So when I was always competing, that's something that I was always training for. One of the top physiques in the world, this is his first show back in over a year. It's coming down to a tight competition tonight, and we'll see who the winner is. Woo! I feel fucking amazing right now. So much hard work went into this. This feels so surreal. thing about aesthetics is looking healthy, improving your longevity, staying functionally fit. You know, I've never understood why some people they'll take steroids that look like us, you know, they look like a physique competitor, look like a fitness model. I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense to me, you know, to take steroids to achieve the physique that, you know, me or Lucas or I have. You know? I mean, all that takes is dedication, hard work. Fucking Lucas here. But Lucas got big in two years, two and a half years. Training fucking hard, eating like a fucking beast. Living the lifestyle, bro. And living the fucking lifestyle. Enjoying day Nigga still parties, he gets pussy, he has a good fucking time. Living life to the max, dude. No fucking regrets, bro. That's fucking everything. Anyways, okay, so you don't you know, have to take stuff like this to look like us. Yeah, it's all about dedication and consistency. But the thing is, and all about the rule. If you love something in life and you be passionate, you can lose everything. Yeah. yourself. Okay, when it comes down to it, aesthetics is much more than just being fucking physically appealing, alright? It's a lifestyle. It's a way of life. When does it attain aesthetic perfection overnight? It takes years and years of hard work to build a fucking masterpiece. Don't know what you seen in me, girl You was my heart, you believed in me, girl First day we spent was no real to me, girl Next time I promise to give you the world Diamonds be shining, you dripping in pearls Girl, I ain't lying, you know you're my world Girl, I can't pass up on my 